we got uh, uh we got Maurice Paramore coming up for the second interview. So uh, uh, he hasn't been on this show yet, but we've had him on. Hang on to your shorts. So uh, we'll just be putting them in here right now, and uh, we'll be getting on for that. And here he is. What's up, Maurice? What's How up, are man? you? How's it going? Pretty good. It's been a long time. I was like, man, I gotta I gotta talk to Maurice and be on here. Because it's been a long time that we haven't been either uh, at a film festival or, uh, you know, at a studio yeah. or whatever. So this is the new show. So I was Absolutely. like, oh, I got to have you on. And then, and, and, you know, we're doing like half hour one on one film guys. So I'm like, oh, we got to talk. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> definitely. That's awesome, man. And um, congrats on the show. You know, oh, always moving forward, always progress. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's always good times when we um, when we link up together. So. Yeah, glad to see you doing your thing, man. I know it's been a while. I don't even yeah. know the last film festival I've been to. You it's know, been a while, um, yeah. yeah, I didn't go to any this year. Um, no, and then you know, the whole COVID thing happened, but yeah, did you do anything this year? You know, Probably? I can't even remember. Well, you know what? I go to a lot now because of the student films, so we we okay. submit a lot of student films at fest, but okay. mostly like lo local ones, New Jersey ones, not like okay. you know, go to so, um. But we do, you know, I put it out there and some I can't go to. Right now, at least the, the students that are graduating, at least there are some festivals that are doing online. Okay. So at least, at least they get that before they graduate and can maybe get some films and festivals and stuff. But, you know, ever since this happened, it was like, uh, there goes the festivals. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. It, it's hard on everything, man. All businesses, all filmmakers, you know, creators, yeah. people that's given us platforms. It's like, I don't know. It's going to be strange, man, moving forward. Well, one, one thing I wanted to have you on for is because, um, you know, I have a lot of filmmakers on, but you do more than that. You do so much more. Right. And, uh, you know, and my, and my students, uh, they're, they're artists. So we have okay. an arts program where it's, you know, there's, there's not just filmmakers, actors, uh, directors, um, you know, they they do all this other kind of stuff, regular, you know, regular art classes, uh, singing, yeah a band it's all like under one one umbrella so okay uh, and also marketing like like you do and all that Absolutely. kind of stuff so creating t-shirts they all do the yeah. graphics design and things and clothes so i thought uh, it'd be great so you know so other than making films or writing and directing what else yeah. does you you do under your company under your umbrella there you do a lot yeah i, I do a lot you know obviously i do the filmmaking um i do directing for um you know, artists, you know, I like to do music videos and stuff like that. That's actually what I started with before I even did, um, you know, started creating my own films. I was doing a lot of music videos for a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's always fun because I, I love the music, man. The music is always going to be like one of my, my passions. You know, yeah. two years ago, I finally got back into music after like 10 years, you know, being yeah. on, the, on the visual side. You know, um, I just like being creative. And, um, you know, recently I, I created a service under my company to help other people get their short films made because I realized that a lot of people, they have these ideas, but some don't know how to go about it, you know, or they can't find um, the right people to do it. Or mm -hmm. they might find a director, but they don't have an editor. They don't have a sound guy. So, you know, been creating my own short films for so long. I said, you know what? And I kind of mastered it a little bit. I know how to, you know, can get more with with less. So I yeah. said, you know, I created a service to help, you know, people get the, you know, short films that's like five or 10 minutes um, done and, and make sure it's, it's quality and, um, and and fair, you know. So that's one of the new services that I'm really um, happy that, you know, people have been um, exercising and yeah. um, a little bit of everything, man. You know, creative, you know, I, you know, I got my own t-shirt line as far as clothes, you know, I designed flyers, mm. a little bit of everything on the creative side you know, to keep things yeah. going. Cause you gotta be, you gotta have your hands on everything on the visual side. That, that kind of helps, that helps you a lot for all this that's going on too, right? Cause you can yeah. still be doing stuff where a lot of filmmakers like, all I can do is like write or edit right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, cause it's weird, you know, and even for me, it's like, you know, cause I like to be on set with actors yeah. and actresses. Like I love that aspect, but you know, right now I'm still being able to be creative. Like I'm still writing, I'm still doing a lot of editing because I was I was in between a project before oh. COVID happened. So I still had a little bit of footage that I could start editing and stuff and getting that ready, you know, to hopefully, you know, things open back up. Um, but it's still it's still tough, man. It's still like a weird period, you know. But 
it's a good thing I, I am able to still create things from scratch to be able to keep things moving. So that does yeah. help. You know, I know some people that just like, I don't know what to do. They, they <laughs> so they're waiting on projects. They're waiting on people. And it's, it's tough for them. You know, I had one of my actors yeah. call me up. She was just like, I'm trying to stay busy, but it's hard. It's hard, you know. And uh, well, could could you do music too during this, or you can't really, or can can you have this stuff there? Yeah, yeah I actually have a, my own little setup in a in and out. You know, it's so funny because I was really getting back into music right before it happened because I was working on another project. Actually, another yeah, didn't you album. release an album? You had an album out, right? Yeah, I had an album yeah. out last year. Yeah, but I started it was a year already. Yeah, it's been a year already, man. Oh. Actually, it's been two years. It came out in um 2018. Wow. So this summer it'd be two years. Wow. So I was, you know, I started to get back into it. And then when COVID hit, I kind of got into like, I'm gonna be honest, I got into like a weird space creatively. And um, you know, I kind of fell back from the music, um, started writing again because I'm working on a book and everything. But I actually started writing again for the music because this is one thing that you can do without anybody else's help. If you got a studio and a computer and a mic, you know, yeah. you can do it. So that's what I've been doing. Just trying to stay busy. So when it when it opens back up, I have stuff that I can, you know, start pumping, pumping, you know. Yeah. So, so you've been writing uh, sh your own films. Yeah. While during this, too. So you'll be ready. Just like I'm shooting now. I'm filming. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. Because I don't know, like usually. I'm weird when it comes to like writing and shooting. Like usually when I'm done a script, like I have to get right on it. It's hard for me to yeah. like put, put a script aside so, yeah. and then come back to it later and all that. Yeah. You know, so I'm trying to work on having a stockpile of scripts and then just get into the shooting phase. But I'm always like on to the next. I like to write and then shoot, write, then shoot. But this time I'm like, all right, I got all this material. I'm I'm be ready to shoot. I'm be ready. I'm be loaded. On top of your short films, you also you had it, didn't you have like a series going on too? Um, yeah, yeah, I got a um, series. Um, series was fun. It's 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 fun. It's different than the short films. Um, what I learned, you know, I started off my when I first started my first film, which was kind of crazy as I look back at it now, was a feature film. It was. You know, it was a feature film. Yeah, it was called oh. Freestyle Love. I was like twenty two oh. or twenty three, and yeah. um. I don't know how, I mean, I know how I did it, but looking back now, you know, you know, I was running off that young energy and just like, let's go get it. Everybody was with it. Um, and then I scaled back and started doing, you know, short films and yeah. you know, you know, you make a lot of short films too. You're trying to get to the end fast, right? Cause it's, <laughs> you only have this, this much space to actually tell the story. So it's like, you're trying to get to the beginning, the middle and the end as, as soon as possible. But what I learned with, um, web series and, and and series is the fact that now you can kind of create characters that can that you can really extend on you know and you can really yeah. build on that you can't do with short films like short films oh, in and out and you know it played to my advantage as a writer you know where i can really like tap into characters you know backstories add in take out like it was um a pleasure to really do as a writer and to be able to continue a story so you know, I finished the season one. It's out now. So on YouTube, anybody want to watch it, the recession. And, um, you know, we started shooting season two before COVID hit and shut everything down. But where can, where can we see that? Where Where is it? On? It's on. That... Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube right now. Just type in the recession web series. It'll come right up or just go to YouTube backslash the recession web series. And the whole first season is out. You can watch all six episodes and um, yeah, catch up before, before season two comes. Cause it's about to get hot. Do you have do you have season two ready, or you got to film it yet? I started. It? Yeah, you I started. started it. Yeah, I started it, and I shot about like two episodes, man. And we was go we was running, we was gunning, and um, I got shut down because I had to do some shoots in Atlanta. I had to do some shoots in uh, California because it's like a I I extended the story. It's, it's a little more bi coastal, and I got some actors out in California, some actors out wow. in Atlanta. So we was running. We had flights booked, everything, and then. COVID shut us down, man. Oh, but luckily, man. like I said, I still shot some, so I, I can edit some. But you know, I'm looking to get back and you know, hopefully, you know, keep it going. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, not too much longer because oh, it's a little crazy yeah, now. Man. Two months, two months is it's buzzkill, man. It's buzzkill. Yeah. And you know? I think we're looking at another, at least another month here before we even get able to 
get moving, I guess, a little bit, right? Absolutely. I I wouldn't expect anything before like mid-June, late, you know, July. My birthday, July 14th. So long as we open by July 14th, I'm happy, man. I'll be I'll be cool with that. That that might that would be that'd be a good date to get going, right? Because like you know, you think by then that things will be opening up. I hope. <laughs> we hope. Yeah, that's all you can um, do is hope, man, and just you know, pray for the best. And um, you know, just stay creative in the long term. Cause I mean, in, in the meantime, because eventually it is gonna, you know, get back to normal as as we see it. But um, I don't know. I think um the people that's preparing now, and this to me it's like the preseason, the people that's preparing now for the preseason is gonna be ready for when the season starts yeah. back up. So I just think I thought in. It was going to be a good 2020 started out like every, I thought everyone was going on fire yeah. in the beginning, yeah. you know, and then, yeah. man, yeah, a, a lot mean, of people, you know, from the festivals and that have a bit, all of them are growing. They're all growing yeah. now. Exactly. And I mean, it was, it, and that's what I want to ask you, you know, like how, how does that affect you as like, far as like the festival? Cause I mean, y'all deal with sponsorships and all that, like, yeah. and, and films and submission fees. Like how does that, you know, like well, how, Obviously, it affected you in a in a great way. Yeah, so we have hang on to your shorts, but we were lucky enough to um, everything is already booked in like Asbury Park and all the way in September. So we had one okay. weekend. We had one weekend in September, so we took it. Okay. So uh, we 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 lucked out there. Okay. At that point, so we're like, oh, we'll do it in September, and that's okay. But we kind of put a standstill on it. You know, we were getting, yeah. we were almost ready, and now we got to go back and do all this stuff. And then yeah. even prepare for the next year. Right. We didn't even start. Like, yeah, yeah. So you, gotta, you gotta prepare almost for two years now. You know? Yeah. That <laughs> and then that the bright side is gonna be in August, but we don't know if it's gonna right. be in August. I'm, we're hoping. Okay. Hoping be in August. But uh, and then we had another fest that I do point lookout that uh, it was pushed to November. Hmm. So it got pushed, so it's okay. Yeah. I've been keeping busy because of school, but if I didn't teach i'd probably right. be my mind <laughs> you're going crazy right yeah you're going crazy man absolutely it's a lot man hopefully you know towards the end of the year because um you know speaking of teaching you know i'm beginning to you know teaching some film classes and stuff like that um i was actually supposed to be opening up my own little academy in the summer man but again covid knocked everything down so i'm hopefully trying to get a couple you know a couple classes in you know starting maybe september or um, october Cause you know, it's a lot of people that wants to, you know, learn a craft, man. So I want to start giving back more as well. Yeah, you, I just you got everything on there. You have a website that um, tells you everything, right? Like you get where you sell your uh, all your stuff and things. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. What's, what's... Um, you can go to dreamboyvision.com, dreamboyvision, you know, dot com. Um, IG, you can find me on Instagram, which is. Dream Boy Vision as well. Pretty much anything Dream Boy Vision on any site, social sites, um, you'll be able to find me on you know, my products and stuff like that. Um, YouTube, Dream Boy Vision, or the rest, uh, the Recession web series. So, um, yeah. Are some yeah. of your short films are available? Are some of your short films that yes, like um, a couple of them. way back when? I know, but I got, I got, a, I got so many of them out there. A few of them are <laughs> on YouTube. Um, I think the Devil and Red Wine is on YouTube. Yeah. Um, uh, regrets I'm be putting out there soon. Um, yeah, so a couple of Mars. That's what I'm trying to put. I'm trying to, you know, develop a more of an online presence. That was one of the main reasons why I started the web series, because a lot of people wasn't, you know, being able to come to all the festivals that, you know, my stuff was playing in. And they were like, you know, I want to see your work. I want to see your work. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to dedicate something that's strictly for online and, um, you know, started to grow, you know, a, a great audience and a community from that. So, you know, I learned a lot from that. I would definitely advise any filmmaker to start a series, man, because you could really, you know, build a community under that. Well, it's hard to do what you do is like, you know, there's a lot of people that are, they just do this and just do this, but you got the whole umbrella of everything. So, yeah. you know, you got the business sense and you, and you sell it under uh, uh, the Dream Boy Vision. So that's a pretty cool thing thank to you. have. Yeah, and that. Uh, do you have any other ideas? Any you know, you're gonna you said you'll be teaching film and stuff like that. Um yeah. any other any other types anything that you haven't gotten into yet that you want to kind of explore? Um, you know, I I, I I would love to get into the comedy, man. Um, that's the one thing I've not done yet. I have not got, got into comedy, and I yeah. love comedy. 
I'm not gonna say it's my favorite genre, but I mean I watch it a lot, man. I sit yeah. here and watch comedies all day. But I'll be honest, like I don't know how to make other people laugh, you know. So I, I'm just <laughs> always like, I don't know if that's my lane, but I love them, you know. I, I yeah. love them, man. Me and my girl was just watching Hangover Two uh, the other day, and we were just like going crazy. And I was like, if I want to make a comedy, I want it to be raw and raunchy and, and, and as wild as a, you know a story like the Hangover. So that's yeah. definitely something that I would like to um, explore. Um, sooner or later and definitely want to tap back into the horror genre man that's always one of, been one of my favorite genres oh yeah, yeah and you're really good at that man there's some of those some of those short films that people out there have not seen them you got to check them out yeah <laughs> definitely got a good horror feel to them man you know this is the thing about horror i love it man i think it's a it's a it's an interesting uh way to tell films i mean it, you know to tell stories you know it has its own thing its own look its own feel but it's hard. It's not easy to make horror films, man. It's a lot that goes with it. You know, I think time wise, you know, unless you got the right team and, and like I do a lot on my own. So with like horror films, you know, as far as just shorts, if I'm doing like a 10, 15 minute short, I could probably do two shorts in the amount of time that it takes me to do a horror film because it's so much detail, so much attention to detail. Um, but I love it. Well, the one you it. did, the one you did about the killing and all that, that yeah. was that 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 probably took a long time, right? Oh, it, took, it took forever, man. I took I said <laughs> I, when I was done, for one, it was too much, it was too long for a short film. Yeah. And I was like, when I was done, I was like, man, I could have did a short, I could have did a feature film with the amount of time. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it took it a close. lot, but it was fun because you know you got yeah. the makeup, you got the blood, and you got the locations and certain type of shots. But again, it's it's one of my favorite genres to work in it's just so fun you know but it definitely takes you know if i was to do another short i mean if i was to do another horror film i would definitely like a better you know a team you know somebody to do the effects somebody to do this and yeah. you know bring a solid team together but it's fun man yeah it's definitely fun that's the so, cool thing about the festivals you get to meet a lot of people and be like hey you're good at this you're good at this and we collaborate yeah. and absolutely like that. absolutely you never know yeah, this festival, man, is, is a great thing, man. When I started going to the festivals, my first one I ever went to was the Garden State, I think, in 2013. And it's yeah. and it's crazy because I don't know when I met you. I don't know if I met you there or Asbury. I don't it know where I met you. might have been that or maybe AC, Atlantic City. Maybe, maybe AC. And it's, and it's crazy because a lot of people that I've met at the Garden State and your festivals and, you know, you, you know I'm still friends with a lot of these people, man. I do work yeah. with them, and it's just like – that's what it's all about. That networking thing is, is is really important, you know, and still have built friendships and 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 working relationships with a lot of people. I think that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I miss that because it I, I feel like I always need to be refreshed. That's why we have so many festivals. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you, forget. you forget, man. I have so many people that come up to me, it's like, you know, I've seen your film, and I'm like, where? Because it'd be like a film <laughs> I know only played at festivals, and I'm like, all right, well, I played like four. And, you know, for this film, and then they were like, oh, did I see you at the Garden State? They were like, oh no, I see you at Asbury, and then it's just like, it just, you know, it's this community thing that I that I love that, you know, you can't really get virtually all the time, man. You need to be, yeah. you know, shaking hands and and you know all of that stuff. That's what I miss about the festivals, just the networking and being amongst your peers. That's doing what you do, you know. Absolutely. And they're just showing showing your film on the big screen in front of a crowd that even like you might know some of them, but then. I like it the the new festivals that we haven't been to yet, and you go and right. you show your film to like an audience where you don't know anyone, and then and yeah. that made, that always made me feel good. And then and then you meet the new people, but like you're standing there or they're watching yeah. your film, and yep. and then uh, just watching their reactions, and then they see you after like, oh, I loved your film. Absolutely. Always, I don't think you can uh, you can't pay somebody to to feel to get that feeling. You know, that's something. It's just like when I do music and I'm on stage, it's nothing else that compares to that. And it's like that with filmmaking. When you go to a, a new festival, like you said, and you show on your film in a, in a room full of people you don't know from a can of paint and just to see the reactions, because you don't know how people are going to react to your films, right? You think they're supposed to laugh here and they don't. And you think they're supposed to be serious and they laugh at these parts. And it's just like a, a beautiful experience. And then like you said, at the end, everybody's mingling and talking. Hey, I like your film. I like this part. And it's just like a feeling that you can't like duplicate in, in any other fashion. And, you know, it's, that's, that's the great, that's the greatest thing about the film, um, you know, the film festival to be able to do that with people, yeah. you know, 
it's awesome, man. We need it. So the fact that everybody's stuck at home, man, it it it, it drains your your creativity, man. It does. Yeah. It, it if it, if you let it. It really does. I was I I went to California last summer and I was like, I want to go back this summer. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. <laughs> But, like nope, COVID shut you down, man. It was a real yeah. quick trip. It was like three days, and we right. watched films out there at a theater and a festival. And it, it was literally three days because I I had to teach. It was like in September, so okay. it was like one day and uh, of the weekend. And man, did I have fun in that quick time! I'm like, man, I gotta just go on more like vacations. I'm always stuck in New yeah. Jersey, New York, New Jersey, yeah. New York. Like you know, like we're our little bubble around here. Like you said, yeah. you went to Atlanta. Yeah, I did go to Atlanta for a weekend right before all this. Really? Holy cow, was that fun? That was really <laughs> a lot of That's fun. Cool. And That's I'm like, cool. and my cousin lives. I hadn't been down there since I was younger, and I'm like, man, I want to go back. I love right. it. Yeah, I yeah, it. man. I, I like. I, I want to do a lot more traveling too, man. You know, um, it was crazy because last year I was supposed to go to New Orleans for my birthday, and then they had the hurricane. We had to cancel our flight and everything. And then I'm supposed to go to California and Atlanta, you know, this, what, I think in April I was supposed to go. Yeah. That got shut down with COVID. I'm like, man, they don't want me to travel, man. I'm stuck in Jersey. Like, I'm I'm, I'm trying to get out of here. But so, they're, they're trying to open up. I think they're opening up down in Atlanta, trying to. Yeah, I, the yeah. studios, they're trying to get them open. So yeah. maybe that will happen before here. I don't know. Yeah, they opening it up before everybody, it seems like, man. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. but <laughs> It might be good or bad, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or bad, but you know, I will wait. Even in Jersey, they're supposed to be opening up the shores next next week. And it's yeah. just like I don't know, man. I'm 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 gonna just wait and see see how things go for a while. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in I mean I, I, I am in a rush, but I'm not in a rush, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like yeah. I want to, do, but I don't have to, you know. Yeah, same here, man. It's <laughs> like you know, just 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 waiting, man. You know, I think it's a good it's a good thing. Um, you learn, look, you learn a lot about yourself being stuck at yeah. home with yourself, you know, being creative, figuring out what you else you want to do in life. You know, I think it's, 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 it's important, you know, it's a good time to just sit still and just think and figure things out, man, and come back stronger, faster, lighter, all of that. So that's, that's all I'm taking. At first I was kind of like depressed the first couple of weeks, yeah. but I was like, you know what, I'm going to just take this time to like write some more meditate, you know, get my plans in order, figure out, you know, what I want to do. And, you know, I'm going to come out stronger and I, I hope everybody else do too, you know. Yeah, it'd be great once they like, once we know we'll, you know, we'll be okay and everyone's like, all right, we're back to filming, back to doing this. And, yeah. You know, yeah. That would, that would be a great feeling. And I think um, even if it takes a little bit longer than we really think, I think 2021 is going to be amazing. I think so too, man. You know why? You know, because um, everything that you hit on and it's, People are going to be really excited, man. I think this is like a it's going to be an eye opener for everybody because, you know, we stuck in the house. But I think the energy is going to be really good on sets. I think people are going to be more willing to network and mingle and, and just and just go and do it. So like you said, man, you know, we get through this year. 2021 is going to be major, man, because everybody's going to be ready. The energy is going to be really good. You can already start to feel it, man. People are they're ready to work. I got people calling me for videos and all that stuff. I'm just like, I don't we not open yet, but you can feel the energy <laughs> shifting, you know. So you know, it's a lot. A lot of actors are doing um, auditions, so a lot of casting directors are watching a lot of actors doing like uh, videos like this. Absolutely. Out, so that's good, man. You you should be doing more, you know, auditions, branding yourself. Just yeah. you know, set your camera up and get in front of it and just push yourself out there, man. Because that's the best thing you can do, man. You can still make some things happen, you know. I was just going to say, I was going to say, uh, you just, you just hit the, the, you got the right answer there. I was going to ask the question, what advice would you give to like filmmakers, young filmmakers, like my students? And there you go. You already answered. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. You, it's always a way to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. And if they're not writers, learn writing, man. Um, that's one thing that I always encourage, not only filmmakers, but actors. Cause I come with, a, I come, you know, I come across a lot of actors that are waiting on projects and waiting on projects. And I say, you know what, go out there and write your own project. You know, it's different ways to get them done, get them shot. Um, but if you can, if you could tell a story from a blank piece of paper, you're going to have a long career, man. Trust me. So all the filmmakers that can't pick up no cameras right now, right. Trust me. It's going to pay off in the long run.
Yeah, that's great. I, uh, I'm, I'm excited for when we, we get to start doing this again, but, uh, you know, keep being creative man. make your music and do your editing. And, uh, can't wait to see some more Maurice projects. Cause it's been a while since I, well, I, I guess I could go watch the rest of the season there of the, yeah. on youtube because i i don't i don't i don't think i've seen them all i, I think yeah, i saw yeah. the first the first Probably one the first or two yeah. okay yeah. yeah it's up there man and i got a lot more stuff coming out man i'm just you know trying to get my creative juices sometimes you got to take a step back you know and, and come back with some fresh ideas and stuff like that but um yeah. yeah man looking forward to it man i hope everything works out with your, your festivals and i'll be back and you know supporting and you know creating more yeah, you don't have anything in this year, I don't think. <laughs> nah, I didn't, man. I, I, I just took a year off. I had a, I had a minute. I had to take a couple months off, man. Yeah. But I'm coming back. I'm coming. That's, that'd be great. Yeah, I was gonna say we gotta gotta get some more more Reese films in there ever before you know it. But it's gonna be a crazy year because if we have our fest in September and then we have it again in April, it's like pfft. back to back. It happens back to so back, quick. man. Real quick, you know what I've realized that I. The years go by so fast and you judge them by like festivals and stuff like that. Like, you know, I might do your festival, you know, in 2018 and then, you know, preparing for the next year. It happens so fast. And it's like you got to keep, you know, spilling out projects. And it's not easy, man. And the years go fast. You know, usually so. we get like a lot of the filmmakers that try to do that uh, most of the time. It's every other I mean, every I guess every other year they'll have something. Right. Right. Not like, it's really hard to do every single year it's unless hard. you have a bunch that you didn't submit yet, you know? As, as, exactly. It's hard, <laughs> man. It's hard. So, you know, as long as you keep going and keep moving forward, I think um that's all that matters. And I'm going to keep pushing. And I always appreciate your support, man, yeah. through the years. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, You know, anything I can do to support you, I'm down. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a lot of my students, uh, uh, you know, are trying to get different things on here other than filmmakers and writers and actors because that's kind of the basic but you you do it all so it's good for the graphic artists that we have you know that they, they're making uh you know they, they were actually making shirts for people in school oh really it's all happened because i i ordered i was going to order like um like i have my i don't have it on now but i have the cullen on film t-shirt that i i i ordered through someone else but i wanted to get like shirts made for my high school filmmakers okay. so you go through them they do it and uh you know they can't do it right mm. now so it's yeah. like or posters yeah. if i want a poster i say hey, guys and, they, and these are students that will do it you know right they'll learn Absolutely. this craft so it, it's a shame but um i I don't even know what they're doing right now online. Maybe they're doing it online. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. They just gotta um, you know, stay busy and keep working on the craft, man. Cause you know, like I said, the great thing is that the world is at a standstill and it's and, and, and it's at a standstill for everybody. So it's like this is the time to kind of really you know, perfect your craft and just to knock out as much stuff as you want. It doesn't matter if anybody sees it or nothing, but this is the time to work on your craft. And I think it's it's plenty of stuff we can do at, at home, you know. Absolutely. Well, uh, Maurice, thanks for coming on again. And it was great. And uh, again, we were on uh, Cullen on Films on Facebook uh, right now. And uh, we'll be on YouTube later on Cullen on Films on YouTube as well as uh, SoundCloud. So it's all out there. Awesome, we're out man. there. <laughs> Indeed, man. Keep doing your thing. And um, I appreciate the support. And, um, you know, let's keep let's keep this 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 indie uh, art alive, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll see. Is Christian there? <laughs>